These are shoulder taps. They can either be done to a, a barbell or to the bench. What I want you to think about when we start in the position is having a nice kind of stacked position, right? That rib cage over pelvis. And also with your arms kind of corkscrewing the arms, whether you're grabbing onto the barbell, I'm thinking corkscrew my arms to point the inside of my elbow forward. Same thing with the bench. We really want to make sure we have a nice connection to whatever we're holding on to, bench or barbell. So on the, if I start with the, uh, the bench here, I'm going to set up into a nice stacked position, a little bit of a tuck of the pelvis that keeps my uh, core nice and engaged. I'm corkscrewing those shoulders into the bench, nice straight line from head to toe, and I'm going to tap one shoulder and then the other. Notice that there's no movement through my torso. What will happen if you're not locked down is you'll kind of have some shifting. If you have shifting at the level that you're working at, it's too hard, you need to bring yourself up. So I can do it on a rack, on a bench, or if I get really experienced, I can even do these on the floor. Nice and slow and controlled tempo, right? If I need to do it some, somewhat higher, uh, higher, sorry, I can either widen my base of support and do my shoulder taps here, okay? So we want no movement, we want to think point those hips and leave them square so we don't have any rotation through the, uh, the torso. Okay. 